All right, let's begin this first segment of our comprehensive guide to MS Word for researchers by looking at the basics. And I'll make an assumption here that you have Microsoft Word installed on your system. And if you don't, um, then you may not be able to follow along with this video series, but I encourage you to do so. This is the MS Word environment. And just to begin with, I would like you to note that the version of MS Word I'm using is 365. Understanding the layout of the interface is essential for efficient document creation and editing. And as you can see at the top here, at the top of this, you find these ribbons. We have a home, insert, draw, design, all of this. And a ribbon is just a toolbar that provides quick access to various features and commands. And it's divided into several tabs, each grouping related tools together. And so let's look at these tools. Let's look at these tabs one by one. The first tab, as you see here, is the Home tab. And under the Home tab, this is where you find most commonly used commands, such as the font. As you can see, we have the font here. We have paragraph formatting. Um, we have things like changing the font size. If you want to increase the font size, you want to decrease the font size. As you can see, we also have um, things like changing the applying styles. We have line spacing options. The Home tab is your go-to for basic text editing. Next, we have the Insert tab. Under the Insert tab, the Insert tab allows you to add various elements to your document, such as tables, pictures. As you can see here, we have tables. You can add pictures, you can add shapes, you can add charts, and so on and so forth. It's here, you can add headers, you can add footers, you can add, you can add page numbers. This is hyperlinks, you can add media. And so there are other things you can add, cross-references. Now the Insert tab is essential for adding non-text elements to enhance your document. Let's head over to the next tab, which is a draw tab. Of course, this is, if you want to draw something here in your document, this is the tab to go to. Um, and by drawing, I mean freehand, right? So we have the design tab. Now the design tab provides options for customizing the overall look of your document. And so here you can select the document theme so if I, if, I, if I need a theme, I can select a particular theme here and use that particular theme. Um, you can change the color of the scheme. You can change, you can choose different font styles. You can change the font style. You can add watermark to your document. So say you don't want people to um, just use your document anyhow. You can add watermark to it. You can insert pictures for your watermark. You can insert text as your watermark. And as you can see, this is what this is more like what you um, get. And you can add page borders, background colors, as you can see here. So essentially, the design tab helps you to ensure your document looks polished and professional. Now, moving on to the Layout tab. The Layout tab is where you manage your document page setup. So things like how you want your document to look like, the margins you want to give your document, the, the, the sort of orientation, if is it portrait, is it landscape, what size, is it US letter, is it A4, whatever you want to choose there, how many columns you want to have, is it one, is it two? Those are things you can do under the layout. And essentially you can just, you can control the paragraph spacing and indentation, and we'll look at all these, but essentially the layout tab is crucial for setting up your document structure. So when you think of the structure of your document, you're thinking of the layout. 
And let's look at the next one, which is the references. And now the references tab is particularly important for researchers because this is where you manage citations. This is where you um, do things like bibliographies and footnotes. You can insert table of contents. Um, you can add captions to figures. You can manage cross-references. The references tab streamlines the process of adding and managing references in your document. Now let's look at the mailings tab. Now what the mailings tab does is that it's used for creating merge, mail merge documents. And now this is very useful when you need to send personalized letters or emails to a large group and you can create envelopes you can create labels and you can also merge fields with data from spreadsheet or a database. Let's head over to the review tab. The review tab is essentially used for proofreading and collaboration. And so here you can check spelling and grammar. You can use the thesaurus. You can track changes made by collaborators. You can also add comments. If you want to add comments, you see new comments, you can show comments that are existing in the document. Um, you can restrict editing permissions. You can do a lot of things here. Um, and essentially what, you, what this all boils down to is that the, the review tab helps you to ensure your document is error-free and ready for publication. Now let's head over to the view tab what the view tab does is that it allows you to change how you see your document on the screen. And don't confuse this for the actual layout, which we looked at under the layout tab. When you want to change your document structure, you're looking at the layout, right? But when you just want to change how this view, how, how you view your document, how your document is seen on the screen. That is when you come to the view tab. And so you can switch between different document view. For instance, you can choose, you can choose to view this page using the web layout. You can choose to use, to view it using the print layout. Um, you have the outline and I can close the outline view. And if I head over to view again, you have draft. And so you, you have, you can manage the display of rulers and grid lines. And by the way, just so you know, the rulers are these, <laughs> just rulers actually, these markers you see here. And if I toggle that, you can see we don't have that marker any longer. And I'm gonna toggle that again, grid lines. You can see we have grid lines here. The view tab essentially helps you to customize your workspace to suit your needs. And that is all that we have here. And so understanding the ribbon and its tabs is fundamental to navigating MS Word efficiently. And as we progress through this guide, you'll become more familiar with these tools and how to use them effectively in your research document. And so next, we'll look at how to customize the quick access toolbar for even quicker access to your most used commands. But before then, let me just recap what I have explained here. Here, we have the ribbon and it comprises of several, several tabs. The home tab is your go-to for basic text editing. The insert tab is essential for adding non-text elements to enhance your document. The draw tab is for you to draw free form diagrams. The design tab helps you to ensure your document looks very polished and looks more professional. The layout tab has to do with your document's structure. The references, definitely useful for you as a researcher 
stats where you get this process of adding and managing references in your document. How about mailings? You can create envelopes, labels, merge fields, and integrate that with data from spreadsheet or database. Review helps you to ensure that your document is free from all kinds of errors and that it's ready for publication. And we have the View tab, which of course just helps you to customize your workspace the way you want it. And so that's it in this video. We'll I'll see you in the next video. And you might be wondering, how, how about this Zotero and Grammarly? Those were plugins that I added to my Microsoft 365. And I'll show you how to do those as well, because Grammarly is very, very essential, especially if you want to proofread your documents uh, much more easily. So I'll see you in the next one, where we talk about how to customize the quick access toolbar. And see you then. Bye.